This week, Hyundai Motor Group introduced its brand new EV platform that is going to support 13 upcoming electric vehicles from Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis brands. The CEO of Hyundai announced that their new platform will enable them to make electric vehicles in every category, including electric trucks. During their annual Investor Day 2023, Hyundai revealed their commitment of KRW $35.9 trillion, roughly equal to $27.8 billion, to enhance electric vehicles, taking advantage of their strong position amidst the industry's significant changes. Hyundai has already taken advantage of this transition by introducing innovative electric models like the Ioniq 5 electric SUV and the Kia EV6 crossover which features striking designs and advanced technologies. Join us as we look at the new Hyundai pickup truck that will surely shock the entire EV industry. Instead of directly challenging popular electric truck models like the Ford F-150 Lightning, Volvo FH, or Tesla Semi, the Korean brand has a different strategy. They're targeting the small truck category and aiming to compete with the hybrid Ford Maverick. Currently, there is a lot of interest in the compact pickup segment, and no other car manufacturer offers an all-affordable, all-electric pickup option. Hyundai's truck lineup is currently limited with only two models available, the Santa Cruz and the H100 truck. However, both of these trucks are not electric at the moment. That is about to change. During Hyundai's Investor Day meeting, they not only confirmed their plans to develop a new electric truck, but also revealed some other exciting news. Hyundai is exploring the potential of lithium-ion phosphate batteries and emphasizing their dedication to electric performance cars. They have also previously announced their plans to construct a large-scale EV manufacturing facility in the United States to overcome adjusted tax incentives. Now let's focus on their EV truck. While Hyundai did not provide specific details about the electric pickup truck, they did mention that it will be developed on the second-generation EGMP platform. This platform is already in use for their current EV offerings such as the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6. The new generation of the platform, called the EM platform, will debut with a Kia sedan that could potentially serve as a spiritual successor to the Stinger. The EM platform is designed to serve as a base for these 13 different models across the Hyundai Motor Group portfolio. It utilizes the integrated modular architecture, which allows for plug-and-play compatibility with over 80 standard modules, catering to various vehicle segments and sizes. By developing this new platform, Hyundai aims to achieve significant economies of scale. This means that the platform can be utilized for multiple models, resulting in cost efficiencies and broader market availability. This strategic move demonstrates Hyundai's strong commitment to expanding its electric vehicle lineup across different market segments, including the luxury market, represented by the Genesis brand. While specific models for the North American market haven't been officially announced, Hyundai has dropped hints about its plans for electric pickups. Recognizing the United States as the largest market for pickup trucks globally, Hyundai acknowledges the growing demand for electric pickups. The Santa Cruz, Hyundai's debut pickup truck, launched in 2022, is based on the Tucson SUV and features a unibody structure, setting it apart from traditional body-on-frame trucks. The Santa Cruz boasts a distinctive design, a practical cargo box with a lockable cover and in-bed trunk, a comfortable ride, agile handling, and a powerful turbocharged engine option. The interior is well-equipped with technology, although rear seat space is somewhat limited compared to competitors. Competing primarily with the Ford Maverick, another unibody pickup with a hybrid powertrain and a lower price point, the Santa Cruz has received positive reviews for its enjoyable driving experience, versatile features, and stylish aesthetics. However, critics have noted its limited off-road capabilities, comprised rear visibility, and higher pricing for upper trim levels. Despite these considerations, Hyundai reported strong demand for the Santa Cruz with the initial production run of 23,000 units in the U.S. selling out within two months of its launch. While Hyundai's small Santa Cruz pickup has been successful, the upcoming electric pickups from Hyundai and Kia will take a different design approach. They will not follow the Santa Cruz's style, indicating a new direction that may cater to a wider range of customer preferences in the pickup truck segment. Interestingly, Hyundai hinted that the new electric truck will feature a unibody construction similar to the Santa Cruz, rather than the traditional body-on-frame setup found in models like the Tucson. 
This suggests Hyundai's focus on creating a more lifestyle-oriented vehicle rather than prioritizing utility. It's an intriguing approach that aims to meet the needs of customers seeking a versatile and stylish electric pickup experience. Hyundai President and CEO Jae Hoon Cheng has revealed that the second-generation EM platform expands beyond mid-size SUVs covered by the current EGMP system. The new platform aims to achieve component standardization, reducing production costs, and potentially enabling more affordable electric vehicles. He further said it encompasses nearly all vehicle classes, ranging from small and large SUVs to pickup trucks, as well as the Genesis brand's flagship models. In the previous year, Hyundai's two dedicated electric vehicles, the Ioniq 5 and Ioniq 6, have already sold more than 100,000 units globally. As a corporation that encompasses Kia and Genesis, Hyundai has set a goal to become one of the top three EV manufacturers by the end of the decade. To support this ambition and achieve their target of selling 2 million EVs annually by 2030, Hyundai has made substantial investments. A crucial aspect of their transformation is the development of the Integrated Modular Architecture IMA, for next-generation EVs. The IMA will play a vital role in enabling Hyundai to meet its objectives and adapt to the evolving electric vehicle market. Alongside the electric truck announcement, Hyundai has ambitious plans to enhance the range of their next-generation electric vehicles by implementing cutting-edge technology. This technology involves charging and discharging the vehicle's battery while driving using an independent power source similar to a power bank. This innovative approach can potentially extend the driving range of Hyundai's EVs significantly. While it's not officially confirmed, it is expected that the upcoming Hyundai electric pickup truck will have a global availability. This assumption is based on Hyundai Group's manufacturing presence in various countries like the United States, South Korea, the Czech Republic, and India, where they produce both EVs and internal combustion engine vehicles. Hyundai has outlined a roadmap called the Hyundai Motorway. And in 2022, the multinational company sold approximately 510,000 battery electric vehicles. Now they have set their sights on selling 2 million EVs annually by 2030, surpassing their previous estimates of 1.87 million. To achieve these ambitious targets, Hyundai plans to invest a significant amount of 109.4 trillion Korean yen, equivalent to 84.7 billion US dollars, over the next decade with a considerable portion dedicated to the electrification of their vehicle lineup. As Hyundai continues to expand its EV offerings, including the highly anticipated electric pickup truck, they want to provide options that match different customer preferences and support a cleaner environment. By investing a lot of money and having factories worldwide, Hyundai aims to make a big difference in the electric vehicle industry and help create a sustainable electric transportation system. So what do you think about this brand new Hyundai EV? Let us know in the comments section below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to Tech Innovation for more informative videos like this.